Hey guys, uh, I want to thank you for joining me for this session, Two Lines, One Horse. Today I'm going to be using Gold. Gold's an off-the-track thoroughbred. He was uh, rehabbed by Stacy Zacharitis, the trainer, and um, I thought he'd be a good candidate for this particular session. So before we start, I want to tell you a couple things you're going to need to work uh, with this session. You're definitely going to need a safe halter because uh, I don't use any other halter but this. My safe halter, if you notice here, has a tie, a latch, that goes around the jaw and does not allow, it's okay buddy, does not allow the cheek piece to go up into his eye. You're also going to need, it's okay buddy, a 22 foot line. So I like to use the headline, I call it the headline, the line that's on the head, a little longer than the secondary line, which is the guideline, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I want to have, especially with a big guy like this, I want to have a 22-foot line to give him a little room if I need to let him go out or come in. Uh, and then the third thing is, like I said, the guideline. And the guideline we're going to use today will go from the saddle uh, to yourself, and you'll be able to use two lines. So today I'm not only going to show you how to use one line and do some things that are effective and fun, but also use two lines. So when we come back, we'll start. Okay, so the first step you need to do um, is get the horse just walking around on a lunge line nice and quiet. Now anybody that knows me knows that I'm not a big fan of lunging. I'm not interested in having this horse just go in mindless circles. Uh, come on, buddy. Come on, get out there. Uh, just mindless circles. I don't like the idea of having a horse that I need to lunge before I ride. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, getting the, you know, the bucks out and all that stuff. Because to me, when you do that stuff, when you let the horse go around and around, just like, you know, freewheeling, uh, you're, you're allowing bad behavior. So, you know, if they start uh, gaining speed or they start bucking or they kick out at you, that's all bad behavior. And I never want to put the horse in a position where he can be bad, when he can show that bad behavior. So the first thing I, I want to make sure, again, like I said, he's good with the two lines. Some horses would not be good with this. You have to work on that. You have to give it to them slowly. Once they're good with this, the next thing I'm going to do is very simply, and I'm going to do this step by step for the horse so that the horse can absorb what I'm teaching him. The next thing I'm going to do with the guide lead is so I'm just going to send it down and tap the saddle. 